the rules of multiplication say that if you multiply a positive number by a negative number, you get a negative number. But if you multiply two negative numbers, you get a positive number. But why? What's the intuition behind these rules? Let's explore. Mathematics is all about relationships, more or less. Let's look at these three guys, plus one, zero, and minus one. Now, plus one could be a guy who has money. Zero could be a guy who has no money. And minus one is worse. He not only has no money, but he's in debt. Or he had money before and he got robbed. So his money was taken away from him. So that's how these three numbers can be related to each other. Let's look at an example. Here plus one is a basketball which is full of air. Now if we multiply plus one times plus three, what we are saying is that we have to repeat the plus one three times. So the same thing we have to repeat three times. So the ball that is full of air, if we repeat it three times, we get three. So multiplication is basically the addition which is repeated as many as times as is given. Now here, minus one means a ball which is deflated. And then if minus one, we have to multiply by plus three, same thing. We have to repeat the minus one process three times. So you take the deflated ball and you repeat it three times. So we have three deflated balls. Let's change the scenario. Here we have a deflated ball, minus one. Now we are multiplying by minus three. What does that mean? Here we are to repeat it, not the same thing three times, but the opposite thing three times. So what's the opposite of a deflated ball? It's a ball full of air. So you have a minus one deflated ball, but you repeat the opposite of that ball three times. What do you get? You get three inflated balls. And what are these three inflated balls? Plus three. That's why minus and minus leads to plus. That's the intuition behind uh, multiplication by negative numbers. I hope these analogies made sense to you. So remember, relations matter. With logic, they get even better. Thank you for watching.